Welcome to another episode of Vlocked In. I have to tell you, I'm really annoyed and I never put any products on the channel that I don't thoroughly enjoy and I wanted to make a review of this product, but honestly, it's been super frustrating and let me know in the comments below at the end if you still want me to do the review. I want to work with this company later, so I'm not trying to bash it and I did get these second hand so these aren't brand new in my entire experience, but I have known the owner <laughs> of these products the entire life of them, but I'm just gonna have to go back to Old Faithful and get the Marauder back up and running because I have to retire these tires because they've been too inconsistent on my bike. And let me know in the comments below, has this ever happened to you? Check this out. These are my Rene Hurst Bon John Pass 700C by 35 tires and they aired down overnight, I'm assuming because of a small leak, and they just sucked up and stuck to each other. I've never had this happen. And literally you can see it's hard for me to literally like undo it from itself. And there is obviously a lot of old sealant in there, but I've run tires for thousands of miles that have never done this. And as far as I know, these tires collectively should only have about maybe 600 or so miles on them. I had an issue with a previous ride I didn't film where the sidewall was leaking a little bit. It turns out I didn't have any sealant in there, so I didn't worry about it. Put a little super glue on the outside, filled up some new sealant, and it's been fine since. But this front tire, I've looked for a sidewall leak like that or the weeping that these tires are kind of known for. And to no avail, I filled up a bunch of sealant, tried to find the holes, found one, tried to patch it with some super glue, but no dice. And every single morning for the last couple of days, this is what I've woken up to. And I think I'm just gonna go back to Old Faithful, even though technically they are made in the same factory. The one thing I'm honestly worried about is how it's gonna look. <laughs> now, usually I'm a big fan of tan wall. Don't get me wrong, my Warhawk tan wall. I think it looks great on the purple and gold. But with the Marauder, I'm just not sold on it yet. So you have to let me know what you think about it. And the other downside obviously doing this, since these are the plus casings, they are gonna add a little bit of weight to the overall build, which sucks because I was super hyped on how light this thing came out to be. So these tires are about 80 or so grams each heavier, so about 160 grams. So about a quarter pound of rotational weight, which is not the end of the world. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the craziest of weight weenies, but a little bit of a bummer because I like just saying that this thing's right at 17 pounds basically with pedals, cages, and accessories. So that being said, so I'm gonna swap on my Tanwall Gravel King 35s back on this bike. These are the ones that I did the review for. So if you've been looking at getting these in the plus case and to see the difference, I'll put the link for my review in the description below. So let me know below if you wanna hear the full story of these Bon John Pass tires in a review or just another vlog, because honestly, it's kinda of hard to review. I haven't had a ton of miles on them. I maybe had a few hundred, and I didn't experience them in a bunch of different case scenarios besides road just because of the issues I had with them. I just lost confidence over time wanting to take them out on a little bit more aggressive mild gravel. I did take them on some and then I kept having sidewall issues with this tire. So I don't know what's going on. It looks like the sidewalls are kind of cracking but they're not super old. And like I said, I think collectively, I'd say 800 miles max on these but I think they're around six or so hundred. And these are the extra light casings for anybody who's wondering. So I don't know if it would be different with the sander casings. I know the sidewall weeping happens with other brands of tires, so I'm not blaming them for this, but I've just had so many issues with just sidewalls failing, not looking like they've been cut. So I don't know what's going on there. So time to swap these on and see how this thing looks. very unexpected and I think I know the reason why. I think I'm gonna give this tire one more chance. So as you can see here, I basically have cleaned it since you just saw me having all the gunk all over it and it's not perfectly clean, don't get me wrong. And I've spent a good, ooh, it's been about an hour or so on this. I didn't wanna do, you know, a 20 minute video of me just peeling sealant off. And I think if you 
can tell in the footage, I'm not 100% sure, you can see that there was actually multiple different colors in here. So I think what the stickiness problem was, was just a chemical reaction between multiple different brands of sealant. I talked to Mario, who actually let me these tires to try out because he tried them and just had a lot of problems with them. But I know, I think initially he ran orange seal and then I ran the Paneracer sealant, which is what they recommend for these tires. But I ran out of that sealant and then I recently put in this sealant, the Trucker Co sealant, because that was what was available to me at the time. And I think they just all reacted really, really badly to each other. And it actually was just really, really sticky, like beyond anything stickier than I've, I've dealt with. Even with tire sealant getting stuck to the tire, which I've had before and I'll periodically clean, this thing was gunked up like crazy. And this is how much I got out of the tire. And this again, 700C by 35. And there's still some on here, okay? This much, this whole alien egg sack of sealant is what came out of this thing. Yeah, I and I need to weigh this thing. So let me cut to how much this thing actually weighs. So here's my PSA for this. And again, I'm gonna do a part two. I don't know if it's still the tire that's the issue, but in my head, maybe because there was so much sealant caked up on the sidewall, the sealant that was in there that was trying to seal the sidewall just couldn't get to it, maybe. I'm not totally sure, maybe I'm an idiot, but you know what, I'm gonna give this one more try. I'm gonna fill it up with the sealant that I have. It's basically fully clean now and see if it'll hold overnight. I'm just gonna do a quick little 10 minute ride around the neighborhood just to get it to fully seat. I'm just gonna see what happens. I really wanna know if this was totally the problem. And God, this thing looks so creepy. Anyways, let me know if this has happened to you. If you've mixed sealants, maybe this is something I need to do. If I transfer sealants over or use two different brands, I need to sit there and take the time to clean the tire out. I've never had this happen in before. So let me know your experience in the comments below. But lastly, thanks for watching this episode. Well, scratch that. I am just gonna go with Old Faithful and put those tires on because the second that I put sealant in the tires, as you may have seen on camera, they instantly started weeping on the sides again and I said, nope, not dealing with this anymore. So I threw the Gravel Kings on. I'm gonna go throw the rear on real quick, but I'm probably gonna wait till this evening to show you what it looks like just so that the lighting looks a little bit better and it's not as hot outside because I instantly started to sweat and that's why I had to change my shirt. So let me know what you think of this bike and let's cut to how this thing finally turned out. Well, that's the end of this video. Let me know what you think for the Marauder itself. If you wanna see it in the next vlog, I actually still have those 38C black Gravel King Slick Plus tires in my shed. The rear one was the one that I actually used in San Francisco that I actually Dyna plugged. It still held air, but I have a little trick that I've done where I kind of patch the inside with the inner tube. So if you wanna see that, let me know, and maybe I'll swap those on if everybody likes the black sidewalls over the tan on this specific bike. So that's it for this video. Please make sure to subscribe, turn notifications on, and like this video if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, help support the channel via my Spreadshirt or my Patreon. Links for all those things are in the description below. And lastly, thanks for watching this episode of Vlocked In. Let's get locked in today.